Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to this talk. I'm Zichun Cong from Simon Fraser University. This work is collaborated with Lingyang Chu, Lan Jun Wang, Xia Hu, and Professor Jian Pei. In this work, we provide a closed form solution that computes exact and consistent interpretations for piecewise linear models hidden behind APIs. As we all know, internet giants are already offering machine learning as services. They take advantage of their rich computing power to train powerful machine learning models and provide customers with API access to those models. Customers are using those APIs to make risk-sensitive decisions. Take healthcare as an example, hospitals may apply machine learning models on the cloud to predict the dying risk of patients. However, since the models are protected as top commercial secrets, customers cannot access the internal information of the remote models, which makes it very hard for customers to get the reasons for the model's predictions. In summary, Interpreting machine learning models hidden behind APIs is important because they can reduce potential risks and build trust with users. In this work, we are focusing on interpreting the piecewise linear models hidden behind APIs. Briefly speaking, a piecewise linear model is a nonlinear classification model whose classification function is a piecewise linear function. A piecewise linear model partitions the input space into several disjoint locally linear regions, and it operates as a linear classifier in each region. Piecewise linear models are very popular and successful. It includes many powerful models, like neural networks that adopt piecewise linear activation functions, such as ReLU and MaxOut. So how do we do the interpretation task? There are two typical methods. The first one is to train an interpretable global surrogate model. For example, we can train a decision tree to mimic the behaviors of the target model. So, by analyzing the decision tree, we can understand the behaviors of the target model. Intuitively, this idea sounds good. However, since there is always a gap between the behaviors of the mimic model and the actual behaviors of the target model, the interpretations we get are not exact. The second method is the local interpretation method. It focuses on interpreting the classification result of one input instance. By training an interpretable model in the local neighborhood of that instance. However, this type of method generally suffers from two problems. The first one is that it's very hard to find a proper neighborhood size. As shown in this example, if the neighborhood size is not properly selected, the target model still can have complicated behaviors in the neighborhood, which are very hard to be exactly approximated by a simple model. The second problem is that their interpretations are not consistent. Since the local surrogate models are trained from random samples, there are some cases that different random samples leading to dramatically different interpretations for very similar instances. In summary, existing works cannot provide reliable interpretations. Before going deeper, I would like to introduce the criteria of reliable interpretations. A reliable interpretation should be exact and consistent. Exact means interpretations should be mathematically equivalent to the true decision logic of target models. Only in this way can we trust the interpretations. 
consistent means interpretations for similar instances should be similar because that can reduce confusions and contradictions. Based on the two criteria, we proposed an interpretation method that assigns an important weight to each feature, which exactly reflect the decision boundaries of locally linear classifiers. And the proposed method can also provide the same interpretations for instances in the same locally linear region. Let's first define the concept of decision features. Recall that in a locally linear region, an input is classified by a linear classifier whose parameters are W and B. W is a D by C matrix, where D is the input dimension and C is the number of predicted classes. WC is the C's column of W, which is the vector of weights for features in predicting the input of as class C. The decision features between class C and C prime is defined as the difference between their corresponding columns in W. We denote it by DCC prime. The vector identifies the features that classify an input as class C and distinguish the input from class C prime. For general multi-class classification, we interpret the predictions in the way of one versus the rest. The decision features DC have two properties. First, it reflects the decision boundaries between class C and the other classes. A feature with a large absolute weight in DC is more important in classifying an input as class C. In addition, the size of the weights also indicate the directions of the influences. Second, because DC is purely computed from the weight matrix of the uh, locally linear classifiers, it is the same for all instances in the same locally linear region. This property enables us to provide consistent interpretations for instances from the same locally linear region. Decision features have nice properties, but how can we exactly compute them? To compute DC, we start by computing the C, C prime for each C prime. It is obvious that the, DC, the predictions on an input can be transformed into an equation that formed by DCC prime and BCC prime. That formulation gives us a hint that maybe we can get a closed form solution of DCC prime and BCC prime by using the prediction results. Here is a naive method. We can first randomly query D points around the test point, and then we can solve a linear equation system of D plus one equations, which is built by the sampled points and the test point. Since the points are uniformly sampled, the equation system will have a solution with probability one. Let's denote the solution by d height c, c prime and b height c, c prime. If d height c, c prime is always equal to the ground truth decision feature, then we are done. However, this will only happen when the sampled points and the test point all have the same DCC prime and BCC prime. An example of such an ideal case is that all points are in the same locally linear region. However, without accessing the internal information of the remote model, we cannot guarantee that samples are in the same region. So how can we solve this problem? The basic idea to is to gradually shrink the neighborhood until all sampled points are in the same locally linear region. What we do is sampling d plus one points in a neighborhood of the test point, and then we build an overdetermined linear equation system. We can prove that if the system has at least one solution, then the solution is unique 
end, it is exactly the correct decision features with probability one. The key idea of the proof is that if the solution of the system is not equal to the true decision feature, a sample point must be on a specific hyperplane. But since the points are uniformly sampled from a d-dimensional hypercube, the probability that we sample a point from that specific hyperplane is zero. If the equation system does not have a solution, which means the sample points cannot come from the same locally linear region, then we should shrink the neighborhood. We repeat the above steps until the system has a solution. As at that time, all sample points satisfy the same locally linear classifier and the solution of the system is exactly the true decision feature. In our first experiment, we visualize the decision features of a neuron, piecewise neural network and a logistic model tree. The first row of the figure shows the averaged images of the selected f minister classes. The second row shows the average decision features of a piecewise linear neural network. And the third row shows the average decision features of a logistic model tree. The right and blue colors indicate features that contribute positively and negatively to the target output. It is clear that the decision features highlight the image parts with strong semantical meanings, like the heel of boots and the shoulders of pullovers. It also shows that comparing to the logistic model tree, the neural network captures more details of the objects. In our second experiment, we quantitatively evaluate the effectiveness of interpretations, since a good interpretation model should identify features that are relevant to the predictions. We expect modifications on those relevant features will lead to strong changes on the predictions. We compute interpretations by five different methods and iteratively flip the input features based on the interpretations. The figures show how much the prediction probability changes. As it shows, our proposed method outperforms the other methods most of the time because our method computes the decision features that are exactly used by the target models. In our third experiment, we evaluate the consistency of our method. The figures show the performance of consistency by evaluating the similarity between the decision features of the input instance and the decision features of its nearest neighbor. We can see that the interpretations of OpenAPI is significantly more consistent than other methods. This is because all instances inside the same local linear region share exactly the same interpretation. In our fourth experiment, we showed that OpenAPI can exactly compute the decision features of target models. We measure the exactness of an interpretation by the L1 distance between the computed decision features and the ground truth decision features. Because the baseline method rely on predefined neighborhood sites, we evaluate them with respect to, to a wide range of neighborhood sizes. As shown in figure uh, A and B, OpenAPI identifies exact decision features of the two target models, which achieves significant better exactness performance than other methods. In summary, we develop a method to exactly interpret the predictions made by a piecewise linear model behind an API without accessing model parameters or training data. Our interpretations are consistent for instances within the same locally linear regions of the target model. We prove that the decision features identified by our method are exactly the decision features of the target model with probability one. Thank you very much for listening. Please feel free to ask questions.